all of you for today's English class and today's chapter is Flying Together of class 5. This is part 1. In this part, what we are going to read? This is, we are going to focus only on the reading of the story. Here are some of the objectives of this class. What are the objectives? The first objective says, after reading this story, we are going to acquire some of the points, some of the competences. So what are they? Number one, learn new words and their meanings. Pronounce the words correctly. Spell the words correctly. Read the story with proper intonation and pronunciation. Let's start this story. So before starting the story, hello my friends. Let's learn the new words. Let's pronounce them correctly and understand the meaning. So what are the new words prior to the reading of the story? Let us know and the new words sir. The first new word is about Geech and it spells like G E E S E. It is geese and the meaning of this geese is geese. It is a kind of birds and actually this is the plural of goose. Next one is C R E E P E R. It is creeper. Creeper is a kind of plant that needs support to grow. Next one is D E S T R O Y. It is destroy. So what does it mean? Destroy means all of you know it is damaged completely. We have to damage it. Yeah. That is destroy. Next, uh, hunter, H-U-N-T-E-R. This is a familiar word for you. You are learning in EVS also. So this hunter means a killer of animals, although we can say the birds. Next one is T-E-N-D-E-R. It is tender. Tender means it is young or you can say soft. Next word is W I. N G I N G it is winding. What does it winding means? Winding means turning like a coil. It goes round and round. Next one is T R A P P E D is trapped. So trapped means unable to move or escape. F U S S pus. So it means unnecessary next one is p r e t e n d it is pretend so this pretend means false acting next one is m u t t e r e d it is mutter mutter means speaking in a low voice next one is F L A P P E D. It is flapped. Flapped means it is one kind of act of the birds that they generally move their wings up and down. Now let's go to the story. And thus, all of you know the story name is Flying Together. F L Y I N G. Flying. T O G E T H E R. Flying Together. It is the story is flying together. And in the beginning of the story. You can see in your textbook that three lines are written. What are the three lines? We have to focus on them. Now in this story, our, as it is our motto, we have to read the story properly. So how we are going to read, we are learning in this video only. So please concentrate and how I am pronouncing, please keep in mind and listen this story again and again make practice and read properly because if you want to learn first we have to read because without reading we cannot understand anything so let's start reading what are some of the things your parents and teachers tell you to do on time get up in the morning do the homework pack your school bag what happened 
when you didn't do as they asked you to do. Now the story begins. Deep in a forest stood a very tall tree. Its leafy branches spread out like strong arms. This tree was the home of a flock of wild geese. They felt safe there. One of the geese was a wise old bird. He noticed a small creeper at the foot of the tree. He spoke to the other birds about it. Do you see that creeper? He said to them, let us destroy it. Why must we destroy it? Asked the geese in surprise. It is so small. What harm can it do? My friends, replied the wise old bird, that little creeper will soon grow. As it creeps up this tree, it will become thick and strong. What of that? Asked the geese. What harm can a creeper do us? Don't you see? Replied the wise bird. With the help of the creeper, it will be possible for someone to climb this tree. A hunter can come up and kill us all. Well, there is no hurry, they replied. The creeper is very small. It would be pity to destroy it now. Destroy the creeper while it is still young, the old bird advised. Now it is tender and you can cut it easily. Later, it will become hard and you will not be able to cut it. We will see, we will see, answered the birds, but they did not destroy the creeper. They forgot the wise old bird's advice. As the creeper grew, it began winding its way up their tree. Stronger and stronger it became until it was as strong as a thick rope. One morning, when the geese had gone out in search of food, a hunter came to the forest. So this is where the wild geese live, he said to himself. When they come back in the evening, I shall catch them. The hunter climbed up the tree with the help of the keeper he got to the top and spread his net there. Then he climbed down and went away. In the evening, the geese returned home. They did not notice the net. As they flew into the tree, they were trapped. They struggled hard to get out, but could not. Help! Help! cried the geese. We are caught in the hunter's net. Oh, what shall we do? Don't make a fuss now, said the wise old bird. Long ago I told you to destroy the creeper, but you did not. Now see what has happened. Tomorrow morning, the hunter will come back and kill us all. We were foolish, wept the birds. We are very sorry. We did not listen to you. Please tell us what to do. Then listen carefully, replied the wise bird. When the hunter comes, you must all pretend to be dead. Just lie down. The hunter will not want dead birds. He will throw us to the ground. It will then be easy for him to climb down. Collect the dead bird and take them home. When the last of us has been thrown down, we must quickly get up and fly away. In the morning, the hunter came to the tree and climbed up. He looked at the keys in the net. They are all dead, he muttered to himself. He threw them out of the net one by one. The birds lay still until the last one had been thrown down. Then, all at once, they got up, flapped their wings and flew away. The hunter was taken by surprise. From the top of the tree, 
he watched all the geese fly away. The story was adapted by Shivkumar from the stories of Panchatantra, a wise old bird. So this is all about the story, my dear friends. I would like to request all of you, listen again and again the story. Read it carefully. Pronounce the words correctly. Practice the spelling of the words and try to understand the meaning of the words. And one work is for you. You have to frame sentences with the new words at your own choice. The sentences should not be from the textbook, from the storybook. This sentences should be framed by you of your own only. So if you like this video, please, please, please subscribe my channel Tarun Kumar Dash. And you can like, you can comment your views and suggestions and you can share with your friends that will help somebody. Now you can also follow me and I have the blog https tarunkumardash.blogspot.com. So here subscribe and I would like to thank you once again all of you for watching and the next video will be coming very soon. Please keep patience and wait for me. I'm coming back once again with a new video for you. Thank you very much.